Hello guys and welcome to this video. As you noticed I'm back and I thought I will do another story time because uh, there is something to actually tell. Now as you probably know I'm not in Hungary anymore, I'm in Austria. For I've been here for the last three months now and yeah because I actually got barked out of Hungary, but you probably know the story. And yeah, so I'm in Austria now. When I live, I live with my, uh, I live with my girlfriend, and of course the dog problem here is much be more bearable than it is in Hungary. But it is still not the way it is supposed to be, actually. And yesterday, funny enough, I was actually attacked by a dog. So the story is pretty simple and I'll try to keep it short uh, without any unnecessary dramatization. But the thing was that we have a house here uh, with a neighbor that has a dog and uh, this guy is uh, is known in the area here that he has quite a large property so here is a here is a picture of the house we uh, live across the street and his house is a few meters down the street and uh, this guy has a rather large property and uh, he has several animals so he has uh, he has uh, goats he has cats he has a dog and uh, I don't know what else. Now his dog is already pretty old and he is quite notorious because he has already attacked I think twice uh, the postman and once it attacked a school child. Now that dog is supposed to be pretty old by now and the funny thing is I've actually never seen it because uh, it is sitting all day long somewhere you know on the porch of the house or something and you don't see it from the outside the only thing that you hear is usually the barking because that thing goes absolutely nuts when somebody is walking past the gate of the house which is of course absolutely normal uh, but yeah i really don't know what the barking is for but that thing goes crazy every time some pedestrians or hikers are passing their house anyway now a few days ago we did have quite a storm here um, it was in almost all of Austria there were uh, torrential rainfalls and storms and there was quite a lot of damage and here in our village uh, we are in the kind of southeast of Austria there was there was mostly storms like we didn't have much of a problem with uh, the with flooding but there was quite a storm for several days and one of the or actually one of his uh, one of his fences got knocked over by the storm a few days ago so that's that's just the backstory of the whole thing now yesterday at around midday I went outside because I went to my letterbox to get my mail and then I saw that there was a dog a kind of a medium-sized black dog was walking around on the on that grass there and like next to the street like here is the picture of the house and yeah that's around where the dog was sniffing around in the grass and I was around, I would say, 40 meters away, because that's the distance from, from our house to, to there, or to, to the place where the dog was, because there is, there is the street and a parking lot between us. And I was kind of, I didn't know whose dog that actually was, so I looked around a little bit because I thought I might, I might see some owner somewhere walking around the dog was of course not on a leash it was not muzzled and i looked up the street down the street but i couldn't see couldn't see anybody 
and I didn't get I didn't go close to the dog at all. I mean, I kept my distance. I mean, I didn't go closer than let's say 35 meters to it. But then that thing recognized me or it yeah, it took notice of me. And the first thing it did was it darted right at me. Barking, totally aggressive, showing its teeth, and it actually went right for my legs. And I was totally I was totally flabbergasted. I mean, I should have known better. But I was already like when I saw it, I was already thinking about should I actually take my knife out or not? Because as you know, I always carry a knife because of because of dogs. But I thought, look, let's not overreact. Uh, perhaps somebody is there, the owner. But no, there was nobody, and the dog attacked me straight away, without any provocation. It went straight for my legs. I tried to back off, you know. To I didn't turn my back on the dog, but I tried to just go backwards. But it just it just moved together with me and uh, tried to snap at my legs. But I was calm enough to take aim and to actually kick it in its head. And I gave it quite a quite a hefty kick uh, with my left with my left foot full in its head and then it started it started uh, whimpering and uh, yelping and whining and then it backed off and it still continued to bark but then it backed off and actually ran towards the gate of this house so it apparently wanted to go back into the house and then i actually realized that this is the dog from this house. I mean, I've already, I had suspected it because, yeah, people told me that the dog from this house is is pretty vicious. And uh, yeah, so that's that's what it did. It went it went to the gate, and then right at the moment when it got to the gate, the owner came out, all dazed and confused. And he was talking to the dog, like, oh, my God, like, why are you outside and everything? Like, oh, my God, what are you doing there? And then he didn't see me at first because I was uh, like his gate is like on the right and the left side of the gate. There are like tall bushes. There's a tall hedge. And I just came around the corner of the hedge and then I started shouting at him. And... Yeah, I mean, you can imagine, you can imagine uh, my rage. And yeah, there was kind of a shouting going on for around one or two minutes. And yeah, I mean, you know, it was just the usual, the usual stuff that I told him that uh, why is his dog outside? Uh, why does it attack uh, just random people unprovoked, etc., etc. And what did I hear? Of course, the usual, the usual stupid excuses that you hear from every dog owner like yeah well did anything happen to you well nothing happened well then why what are you so upset about yeah then wh why are you why are you shouting at me then no, i mean nothing happened so calm down and and then he also said yeah well you know like the the storm knocked over one of my fences and then apparently it seems that the dog escaped I mean, the storm was like four days ago, four, five, six days ago, for several days. So now it, it was yesterday that he noticed that his fence got knocked over. Well, I don't think so. So he just he just didn't give a shit about it. And I mean, any logical, logically thinking person would say, OK, look, my fence got knocked over. I have a vicious dog at home, so I will just lock the dog in the house. Or at least when it's outside, then I will just leash it and, you know, tie it to a tree or something. But no, no, just let it run around in your garden, in your yard, and and just just presume that the dog will will probably not realize that one of the fences got knocked over. So that's just, it was just an absolute load of bollocks that he was talking. And 
Yeah, I mean, I was, I was just, I was absolutely, uh, I was just absolutely raging. And then the dog was so stupid that he didn't even go into the gate, you know, when the owner came out. For some reason, the, the dog then turned around and then went down the street, further down the street. So then the owner had that, we actually had to, we actually had to interrupt our discussion or finish our discussion because he had to run, he had to run after his dog. That was just going on a stroll down the street. So I went, I went back to our apartment, told that story to my girlfriend, and uh, I was I was immediately thinking about well. So should should there be actually any consequences? Because the thing is, I gave that thing such a heavy kick to the head that it might actually it might actually very well suffer a concussion or like in in the worst case uh, it might actually have internal bleeding and then you know when he has to take his stupid mutt to the vet then he will probably report me for animal abuse so i thought i talked it over quickly with my girlfriend and then I came to the or we came to the conclusion that I'm just going to inform the police and I'm not going to wait for for this other wanker to uh, to take any measures uh, I'll just go I'll just go at him straight so I called the police around half an hour after the incident and we don't have a police station here in the village where I live because it's a very it's a very small little village in the hills but there is a police station a few kilometers away in the larger in the next larger village and I called them there was a female officer uh, that answered the phone and she was extremely nice and and she she wrote down everything immediately she took it very seriously and then she offered that uh, they will actually drop by and have a look at have a look at the situation and I said yeah well please be my guest yeah so I'd, if you, I mean, if it's not a bother, then I'd be happy if you can, if you can have a look at it and we can talk it over. And after around, I mean, I told them that it's not, it's not urgent anymore because, you know, nothing happened and the dog is now with its owner again. So they don't have to rush out within two minutes, but I mean, they came here rather quickly. So it was, it was not even I think it was like 45 minutes later or one hour later. So three officers came, the female officer with two of her male colleagues. And then, yeah, we talked. I, I just had to describe uh, the whole incident. And they already told me that this guy is actually, that he's actually already known in the area. So when I when I told them his name, then they said, oh, yeah, that actually that name sounds familiar so this is not the first time that that uh, there was an incident and yeah i mean all three of them i mean i have to again i have to give props to the police here uh, last time when when i had to deal with the police it was in hungary and now it's in austria and i have to say these these three um, officers were absolutely uh, yeah they were just brilliant. Uh, I have to say, they were. They understood everything. They were very. Um, they appreciated the whole situation, and they, they said that yeah, look, this is this is of course, there are several infractions here, um, because first of all, you are of course not allowed to let your dog roam free. I mean, that's your responsibility to, you know, to keep your dog, inside of your property. And then the other thing is that every dog here in public should actually be muzzled in public spaces, which, of course, most dog owners don't give a damn about. But, hey, the law still stands, you know, but you're never going to, you're hardly ever going to see a muzzled dog here, although they all know that they should muzzle them. And then, of course, it was not on a leash either because, yeah, the owner was nowhere to be seen. So they talk, we talked it over. And then they asked me if I actually, if I actually want to file a complaint. And they described what is going to happen in this case. 
so the complaint will be written by them and I will just receive a notification that I have to actually go to the to the uh, office of the magistrate or to probably the like the police station here in the next bigger town and I have to give an official testimony which I will they will type it up and I will have to sign it and then this guy will receive uh, an official complaint and he will probably have to pay a fine and uh, I mean I don't know if he has already received other warnings for the other incidents that happened but yeah we will see so I decided actually to do press charges and to do file a complaint and yeah so I'll do that and yeah my girlfriend told me then I mean she she has been living here for quite a long time she told me that uh, this dog has already attacked the postman twice and once a school child and it's barking also every day you hear it barking and the funny thing is that the guy who owns the dog is a member of the city council here and he's a member of the green party so uh, the green party here in europe in most countries is like yeah they're all about the environment and you know save save the planet and about climate change and everything and i find it pretty funny that this guy's in the green party and then he wants he apparently wants to save the world but he's not even able to fix his fence so yeah well you can imagine how seriously you have to take such people and he also the story is that he attacked the dog attacked the postman twice and they just paid the postman to get his uniform fixed because the the dog apparently tore his uniform apart and they also gave him a little extra money so that he's not going to file a complaint so that's i mean i don't know that's a story that she told me i don't know how much of it is true but hey look i wouldn't be surprised uh, that's, that's probably the way um, the attitude that these dog nutters have towards the law and towards how to live decency uh, decently in in a community so you can do whatever you want and if you commit an infraction you just pay people off so that they they keep their mouth shut so anyway situation today is um my foot actually hurts pretty much because uh i mean i'm not complaining about it i actually find it pretty funny because um i always think that the more my foot hurts uh, then imagine what the dog's head must hurt now the problem is that i was actually wearing just sandals when i went outside and i had to kick him uh, with that so it was basically almost like being barefoot and i had to give him a kick with uh, the back of my foot and yeah i mean the that the ridge of my foot hurts now quite a bit but hey um i i really don't mind and yeah so i decided actually that next time next time when something like that happens then the first thing i will do is actually i will just go the three meters back to my door and i'll put on my army boots because that's actually i mean if um yeah if if you get attacked then that's then you definitely have better chances uh, with you know with with a good pair of shoes than standing there in your sandals or in your flip-flops or whatever you're wearing the funny thing is i actually made a video myself about self-defense against dogs and unfortunately i didn't follow my own advice so i should have gone back and just kind of geared up but i thought yeah you know that thing was around 30 35 meters away from me and at first it didn't even notice me and but then yeah it came it came darting right at me right at me trying to trying to go for my legs and the funny thing is uh, by the way i'm not sure if i mentioned that the the owner claimed that yeah i shouldn't uh, i shouldn't be so upset be, because uh, you know the dog is the dog is already very old 
and it is basically it's basically blind and deaf so i mean that's not exactly the impression i had i mean it's it's quite an achievement for a dog that is supposedly blind and deaf to actually see me from 35 meters and to come at me in a straight line and with a surprising speed actually with surprising speed so i mean if that's what this animal is capable of when it's blind and deaf then i don't want to see it when it's healthy and see it you know with both its eyes and both its ears functioning so but you know all that beside um it's it doesn't change anything in the situation you know that if your dog attacks somebody then i don't really see what the excuse then is to say yeah but he's he's half blind and half deaf yeah so uh, i mean how does that how does that embellish the incidents uh, the incident i really don't know or how does it excuse it i it's just it's just absolutely puzzling to me like they 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 pull out any shit excuse out of their arses and it's just it's just so stupid so anyway guys bottom line is i'm going to i'm going to file the complaint and yeah we will see what happens uh, i'm pretty sure that probably nothing is going to change much because yeah it's not the first incident but i mean look there are good chances that this will actually happen again and if it happens to me then yeah i mean i will i will first gear up and then we will see right so that's what i wanted to tell you i hope you're all doing well and having a dog free day and if not then don't trust any dogs they're all assholes you take care now bye bye no no this is not hey, about hey, hey. no no no, no, go, 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 go,